Now let's open up Eclipse and create our very first Serenity project. So I'm going to launch Eclipse. I'm using the latest IDE as of today. So I'm going to create a new workspace with the name Serenity BDD Framework. So what all code that uh, I'm going to write, I'll be uploading it at the end, end of each section. So you can directly download the code and can import as it is in your workspace. So uh, like we'll be creating a new Maven project. So we'll be following uh, Maven. So I'll click and create a new Maven project. Now, don't forget to select this create a simple project, right? This is very important. Click on next group ID. You could give anything like your domain minus way to automation. I'll going to give com.w2a and then I'll be giving it a name as uh, sorry, Serenity. PTT framework and click on finish. So let it build. Uh, let's see. Let's open this pom.xml file. Let me increase the font size. And then we need to add a dependency stack over here. So first we need to compile all the dependencies which are required to work with Serenity. So dependencies, uh, I'm going to pick it from here. Uh, first, copy these properties. Paste them over here. Then take all these dependencies. And paste them inside dependencies. And then copy this these plugins. So copy them up till here. And outside your dependencies, paste them. Right, so do control shift F and everything will be aligned properly. So let's wait for a couple of seconds till the time uh, these jars are being downloaded from the Maven centralized repository. Because when you're adding these dependencies for the, dependencies for the very first time, these will be and, uh, added from the centralized repository. These will be downloaded from the centralized repository to your local machine. So let us wait for a few seconds and uh, let us have all these dependencies downloaded to our project. Okay, so once uh, the dependencies are added, uh, we'll look at the Maven dependencies. And you can see there are so many dependencies uh, being added over here. And along with this, uh, you're gonna see uh, the Selenium dependencies are also added from uh, the latest uh, 3.141.59, right? So there, there are so many things. You'll find ng uh, driver as well. This is for uh, the Angular-based application. You'll find some of the REST uh, APIs as well. Uh, and n number of things are there. It's, it's, a, it's one of the framework that supports a uh, lot of things that you need for automation, right? So, but the test executions uh, is actually uh, dependent on JUnit. So uh, this might not gonna work with TestNG. So if you're a TestNG user, uh, don't worry about uh, how JUnit works because TestNG, JUnit, uh, both works the same way. And here we'll be following some uh, Serenity approach and Serenity annotations that we're gonna talk about. So in our upcoming lectures. Right, and now uh, we're gonna define the project structure. So everything in Serenity uh, should be defined inside uh, the test packages. Like your test cases specifically should be inside uh, your test package itself. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna write, uh, click over here and I'm gonna say new and I'm gonna create a package. So majorly main methods, uh, main uh, packages we generally use for uh, 
defining the business logic that you can do uh, over here as well. But all your test cases and other resources related to test should come inside these test packages. So here uh, we're going to create a, a new package. I'm uh, going to name it as test cases. And then uh, inside it, we're going to create a very first uh, Serenity class. Uh, name it as login test. So there are other configuration files as well uh, required, which are the prerequisite for the Serenity framework. So that is what we're going to look in our next lecture. Thank you.